am Job, ich hab Langeweile, keiner hat mehr Bock auf Kiffen, Saufen, Feiern, so ist das hier im Block. Tag ein Tag aus, sag mir zwei Finger in den Kopf und mach It's jazz. Um, so today is dissect his song. We do this once um, every third Saturday as a way to make language learning more fun because most of the time I get people who will listen to songs. I've actually told people that I um, that I um, that that I speak certain languages, and they're like, "Oh, I I found this song that I like, and I have no idea what they're saying, but it's very catchy." Um, so it's kind of like, all right, so if you really like foreign music, here's, you know, some songs that I, I mean, I particularly like. Um, if you guys have any requests, you can always put those in the comments, and I always, I always love comments. Um, but yeah, um, so there's that, and then, um, yeah, so I'm basically just doing this because I feel like it's important to um, learn languages by music, because who doesn't love music? Well, like, music is a language of its own, because it doesn't matter what where you're from or what language you speak it's just like there's just something about music that just makes people want to like dance it's like i don't know what they're saying but i just feel the energy you know um but yeah so we're gonna get started with that um and the song that i selected for this week is a german song it is um martyria um kids zwei finger and then cough so this song, I feel like there's like a lot of symbolism to bureaucracy in this in this song. Um, it's it, it's very much like a when you listen to it, it's like you know, hey, you need to loosen up, be less stiff sometimes. Um, I love this song. Um, I actually found it on lyrics training, um, which is another thing I re always recommend on the section um, under music. Um, if you haven't seen that on my website, but I strongly recommend you check that out. Um, it's a way great way to learn music through through. Um, uh, learn languages through song and that's also how I got where I got my lyrics from so it took me a little bit to get through this because I understand the song I understand what's going on when you watch the music video it's very clear what's happening because um, even when I first heard the song I wasn't as at the same level as I am now with German and I know that there's certain things where across all eight languages that I know there's certain things that just don't translate direct like in the literal context versus one or the other so Basically, I always have to, I had to like make sure I plan this out because it's like French is a little bit easier because I've been speaking that my entire life. But German, I've been speaking that for the last three years um, and I love the language. It is very much similar to English. So and I will kind of show you a little bit of that in um, as we get through. And this is a really good song. Um, so I'm going to just go through line by line. Um, so first part is the hook. You're going to hear this. but It's like twice um, throughout the song. Um, Twice every time um, the hook happened throughout the throughout the song. So basically, the first part is "Alle haben Job, ich hab Langeweile, keiner hat mir Bock auf Kiffen, Saufen, Feiern. So ist das hier im Block Tag ein Tag aus. Hat mir zwei Finger an den Kopf und mach Peng, 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 Peng." So "Alle haben Job." "Alle" means all or everyone. So, uh, when they say Allah haben, haben means to have. Um, when in very much formal German, if you ever end up getting to that point where it's needed, but haben is actually haben, like when it's spoken very fast. It's kind of the same thing as I'm going to the store versus I'm going to the store. It's just, it's, it's so fast, certain letters or certain words are going to just drop off. Um, same thing here where it says nen. Um, apostrophe nen, that actually is a contracted version of einen. Einen means a or um, ein actually means one. Like if you're counting ein, ein, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. In Europe, they count from their thumb versus their index finger. Ein, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. Um, yeah, so ich haben, ich haben einen Job. But again, so it means everyone has a job. Also, by the way, the letter B in job is actually pronounced as P. The thing about, the thing about this is that job is more of an American word, because most people in German, they say Arbeit. Um, 
Arbeit or um, bereft. Um, everything is fact checked on the screen in the screen if anything I say is incorrect. But yeah, so um, Job is an American word, so that's why typically in German the letter J is pronounced as a Y. Um, but Job is an American word, so they pronounce it in the American English um, pronunciation. So ich hab Langeweile. So by the way, all nouns in German are going to be capitalized. So if you're reading German, you're like, I don't understand any of this. Well, the first thing you know is that anything that is capitalized anywhere in this in within a sentence is a noun or a proper noun. So that's the first step of understanding. Langeweile is a noun. Um, yeah, so it's actually pronounced as ich habe. Remember what I said? Spoken spoken uh, languages, they typically drop off letters. So it's ich. By the way, ch sounds are going to be pronounced as ich. So the, the word for I is ich. It's not ik. Um, ik is actually Dutch. So ich. Ich hab langeweile. I have boredom. So it, it kind of is the same way in like a lot of other languages I know is that anytime we're saying that we are something like in French if you're trying to say you're hungry you would say I have hunger. Um, je femme. Um, same thing here um, in terms of boredom. In American English we say I'm bored. Um, but in this sense it's I have boredom. Ich hab langeweile. Just think of it. Lange is like um, it's like a long. Oh, this is so long. You know, like when you're sitting and you're sitting at a lecture and you're like, oh, this course is so boring. It's so long. Ich hab lange Weile. Uh, and then it's keine hat mir Bock auf Kiffen, Saufen, Feiern. Keine. So anytime you see an, e, an ER, it's not keiner, it's keine. It's almost kind of an English accent that's happening there. But it's keine. Keine. Um, do not confuse kinda with kleiner, because kinda means none or nobody. And then kleiner means small. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's a letter off, but just you want to remember if you're trying to make sure you're crystal clear, kinda means, kind means none, uh, klein means small. So it's like if you're talking about, um, that's a good example. Like, if you're trying to say, I have no kids, I, I, like, for example, I mean, I'm too young, but I don't have kids. I would say, ich habe kein Kinder, um, something like that. So I would have, no, I have no kids versus I don't have kids. I, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, ich habe keine Kinder. Um, versus, like, if you're trying to, to make a sentence negative, you would say, ich nicht. You would add nicht after the verb. Like, ich bin nicht. I am not. Um... Ich bin nicht eine Mutter. I am not a mother. Um, yeah, so if you're trying to negate sentences, you would use nicht. And then if you're trying to, um, if you're trying to say you have none of something, then it would be kein. So yeah, keine hat mir Bock. Keine hat mir, it means nobody has more um, urge. No one has, um, Bock, Bock means like, um, an urge to do something like a lust for something. Um, even in German, they, you can say like ich habe ich habe uh, Lust für uh, für um, ich habe Lust für like I have um, yeah ich habe Lust für etwas. I have a lust for something. Um, lust does not mean the same thing in German as it means in our context, um, but it basically means like I have a um, a desire for something. You know, it's like I I ich habe Lust uh, für um, ice. I have lust for ice cream, <laughs> you know, you know, um, yeah. Um, so then it's, no one has an urge more, um, no one has more urge for, or urge to, um, auf can means like of, well, yeah, of typically means fun, is fun, but auf kind of means like to, um, or in, um, which you'll kind of see that, um, it varies, uh, but in this context, auf kiffen, zaufen, feiern. So these are actually three verbs, but they're using nouns. That's why they're capitalized because it's saying no one has, no one feels like it anymore. Kind of hat mir Bock. It literally means I have, I don't. It means nobody has a lust for it anymore. But it basically means nobody feels like it anymore. So ich habe nicht, <laughs> um, ich habe kein 
Yeah, well, I don't know. I'm making that as like, I'm piecing that together based on that. So it's kind of like, I don't feel like it. Nobody feels like it any anymore. Alf, Kiffin, Zalf, and Fines. Kiffin means just, Kiffin means to smoke weed. Um, it is uh, one of those things with other languages where um, they have an entire word for a whole bunch of words. So for us, we would say to smoke weed. For them, they just say Kiffin. Simple, <laughs> you know, you know. I remember I met someone who was, um, who was Korean and she told me that, um, she said, yeah, we have this th phrase called um, om, which basically means to put it in your mouth. Just, just om. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. So it's kind of a, in a similar sense. Zalfin. Zalfin is very similar to trinken. Trinken means to drink, but it means a general sense. Like, ich trinke Wasser, ich trinke Saft, ich trinke Milch. You know, you could be, you could, I mean, ich trinke ein Apfelschule. I mean, you could be drinking anything. Um, Zalfin means you know what they're drinking. They're drinking something that's going to basically make them drunk. <laughs> so, um, Zalfin means like you are drinking an alcoholic beverage. Um, again, what I was saying. So it's like, anytime you hear trinke, it's general, but Zalfin, it's like, okay, I know what you're drinking on, you know? Um, and then a feeling, feeling means like, um, feeling, yeah, feeling means um, to party. Sometimes this can also correspond with the word um, Urlaub. Urlaub means a vacation. I know that Feiern can also in some sense mean um, like a holiday. Um, there's, I think I was reading something about, or I was watching a video about both of those, Urlaub and Feiern, because um, in the noun sense it can be a vacation or it can be uh, an, a holiday. So, there's that. Um, so, ist das hier im Block Tag ein, Tag aus? Um, so, so means the same thing, so. Um, also, the letter S is pronounced as a Z. There are certain exceptions to that, which we'll get to, because I know I have some other words in here for you. And so, so ist das hier im Block Tag ein, Tag aus. Um, so, it's, it's, it's here, here is the same thing, here, im Block. In block means like in your apartment or your flat or it means like wherever you live that's not like a mansion, <laughs> you know, any small compartmental space that you live in. Um, yeah, so so it, it's here, it is here in my house. Tag, I, have you ever heard anyone say guten tag? It means good day. So tag means, it means here, tag ein, tag aus means day in, day out. Tag ein, tag aus. And then it goes to say, Halt mir zwei Finger an den Kopf und mach. So, halt, if you've ever heard the word halten, um, or if you've ever heard anyone say halt, same thing, means to stop. Halt mir. Mir is the dative form of me. So, it's kind of like when we're talking about, um, like for example, if I were to say, Ich, um, ich höre dich. I hear you. Dich is the accusative form of you informal. If I was going to ask how you're doing, I would use the dative form and I would say, wie geht es dir? Um, wie geht es dir? So I'm not really sh completely sure. I mean, I'm not here to give you a whole lesson on all four of the cases, which is subjective, accusative, dative, and genitive. Genitive is typically used in, um, it's used in written German. So you'll really, I never really pay too much attention to it unless it's necessary, but you'll never really see that show up in spoken German. Um, accusative and dative are common. Um, subjective, it's just it's just normal, how you normally say things, but accusative and dative, I use that a lot. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, and then, how to mir zwei Finger in den Kopf. So, mir in that sentence is an indirect object that's being acted on. So it's saying, stop me two fingers, remember zwei, ein, zwei, Okay, um, zwei finger an den Kopf. Stop me two fingers, two fingers um, in, in Europe and then in America, two fingers in den Kopf, in the head. Den is the accusative article for the. Um, so it typically would be der Kopf, but because it's accusative and it's being, and Kopf, the head is an object that's being acted upon, then it would be den Kopf. So den Kopf. Und mach, um, and make. So, uh, mach, uh, machen means to make or to do. So it's kind of like 
when you're looking at this, when it says "Halt mir zwei Finger an den Kopf und mach pang 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 pang," so basically means like it's kind of like in English when we say like, "Oh, just kill me now." Like everyone has a job, I have boredom. No one feels like doing like smoking or partying or drinking or anything anymore. I'm in my house day in day out just shoot me now you know it's kind of like it's like it's kind of like you know it's like my day is just so boring and nothing interesting is happening so that's basically where it is and that repeats multiple times throughout the song so moving on to the first verse um this is actually a shout out to my friend Deji because he loves golf um every time I talk to him he's always talking about um playing golf so Deji that's this is for you <laughs> the first line says Alle spielen jetzt Golf Jede Fahrt passat So Alle spielen Spielen means to play So if you've ever heard anyone say like um, Give me your spiel Or I've got You know you Now you've heard my 20 minute spiel About X, Y, and Z It's like well Basically it's like You heard my game About My 20 minute game About something um, Also like I was saying S's um, when it's paired when it's paired next to a T, an S C H or S P is gonna be a sh sound. So it's a Z on its own and then it's a sh when it's combined with other vowels. So um, the only time you'll ever see an S pronounced as an S is when you use that sort of like beta looking symbol. Anytime you see that, it means like a hard S. Um, if you don't have that on your keyboard, people just write two S's and it means the same thing. So like if you're trying to say like Zeus. Zeus means sweet. So if you're trying to say something is sweet, you would say sehr süß. Das ist sehr süß. Süß. Okay. Um, so yeah. Um, alle spielen jetzt go Jetzt means now. Everyone's playing golf now. Um, jeder fahrt passat. Fahrt pa comes from fahren. Fahren means um, fahren means um, to drive or to travel to. So if you're saying like jeder fa um, fährt passat, um, it basically means um, Everyone's driving a Passat Volkswagen. Um, Passat, I actually looked this up because I was like, I've never seen this word before. It's like, it's a Volkswagen. And obviously, because it's a German brand, um, it's actually pronounced Volks, um, Volkswagen. Um, the letter V is pronounced, um, the letter W is pronounced like a V, and the letter V is pronounced like an F. So when you're working on your pronunciation in German, remember that. Um, yeah. Jeder spielen jetzt Golf, jeder fährt Passat. Keine tattoo, uh, tattooed. Also, make sure you are aware of those um, umlautes. Um, in English, we refer to them as diarises. I think that's the pronunciation. But I, but in German, it's referred to as an umlaute. It is the only accent mark you will find in German. Versus other languages where they've got accent marks everywhere. In German, all you need to know is there is one accent mark. It is called an umlaute, and um, umlaute, and it basically just flat. I think it flattens. So it, typically, like an A is going to be an A. Ah, but this makes it an A. A versus A. So, um, kind of tattooed sich wuten auf den Arsch. Um, nobody tattoos themselves. This is the, uh, this is the, um, accusative form of him, her, it. Um, so no one is tattooing themselves with, um, wuteng. Uh, yeah. Um, alfen means, um, comes from auf den which means of the on the so nobody is tattooing Wu Tang on their butt <laughs> Ash um, also um, not that I'm trying to teach you guys inappropriate uh, words but if you ever hear someone call you an Arschloch um, that is not a nice thing <laughs> so just so you know if you ever hear someone call you that it is not they are not trying to tell you they love you um, yeah um, yeah um, then it's can, a kind of tanz mir moonwalk seit Michael Jackson stop. Okay, kind of tan, tanzt comes from tanzen, which means to dance. So no one dance dances the moonwalk anymore. Seit seit means since Michael Jackson stop. Stop means um, stop basically means like to turn to dust or to die. So it's basically saying no one dances the moonwalk anymore since Michael Jackson turned to dust. It's interesting play on words, but yeah. And then it says "ala auf salat." "Ala auf salat" basically means everyone's on salad now. Everyone's on salad. Keiner mehr verstrahlt. Verstrahlen. Um, I actually looked this up because I had never seen this before. 
Um, Verstrahlt means to be combinated um, radioactively um, or to radiate. So I think that's like the literal sense, but I'm thinking in the context, it's kind of like no one's radiating and no one's excited, you know, about something anymore. Um, and then it's jeder macht Diät. Everyone is making a diet, or everyone does a diet. Um, yeah, jeder macht Diät. Um, then there's niemand isst mehr Fleisch. Niemand is another way of saying no one. Kein, uh, keiner basically means none, um, but uh, niemand basically means like the same thing, generally. Um, I think you can pretty much use them interchangeably um, from what I'm seeing. Um, ist comes from the verb essen, which means to eat. So it says no one eats Fleisch anymore. Fleisch comes from, um, if, if you think about it, Fleisch, um, think of it as flesh. Therefore, meat is flesh. So, niemand isst mehr Fleisch. No one eats meat anymore. Keine hat einen Trichter. Um, nen remember einen. No one has a trishta. Trishta actually means a funnel. So it's kind of like, I think what I'm what I'm seeing here is that no one has like, you know, like when you do like kegs and they're like, oh, they have those little funnels and you put them in, I, they, make them, they make them into these like weird contraptions. So I think that's what they, what they mean here. Um, yeah, so nobody, nobody has a funnel anymore. Nobody has, nobody's having fun anymore. Um, this is a la Zalfen Wein. Remember what we, when we talked about Zalfen? Um, Vine basically means wine. Remember what I said? W's are pronounced as V's. Um, yeah. Alle saufen Wein. In der guten alten Zeit war ein aller Donnerstag schon breit. In der guten alten Zeit. Um, that means in the good old times. Alten means old. Guten. We've heard that before. Guten Tag. Guten Morgen. Guten Abend. Um, yeah. So, Zeit, um, wa, wann is basically another way, it's like a contracted version of wa ein. Wa ein means like, wa means like was. A. So, it's like, um, in der guten alten Zeit, alle, alle, remember all. Donnerstag, um, Donnerstag basically means Thursdays. Donnerstag, it's, um, I think it's Montag. Uh, Dienstag, um, Mittwoch, um, Mittwochstag, um, Wochtag, I'm, I have to look that up, I forget what Wednesday is, then there's Donnerstag, then there's Freitag, Samstag, and then there's Sonntag. Um, again, everything is fact checked on the screen because sometimes, I haven't used the word Wednesday in a while, so it's like Mittwoch, Mittwochstag, I believe. Wednesday is always tricky. It's always trying to get over the hump. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, always trying to get over the hump. Um, yeah, sh um, shon, shon means like already, um, don't get this confused with shun, with the omenaute, as I mentioned, because shun means beautiful or pretty. So if you, if someone says to you, oh, das ist wunderschön, it means, oh, that's wonderful. Um, das ist schön, and that is, that is beautiful, that is pretty. Shown means like already, or you know, it's like if you try to say you have other plans, I already have plans. Ich habe schöne Pläne. Ich habe um, ich habe Pläne. I have other plans, or I've already made plans. Um, bright means wide. So it's basically saying like in the old good in the good old time was when every in, in other languages they always say every. Such and such. So it's not like for us, we would say, oh, on Thursdays, like plural. If you're trying to say every Thursday, they would say, um, like, all of the Thursdays. Um, in French, it's the same thing. Like, if you're trying to say every day, you would say tous les jours, which means all the days. So it's the same thing, kind of similar here. Um, alles, do, alles tags schon breit. Um, basically, in the good old times, Thursdays were always open wide for you, were already open wide for you to basically party on thir You know, it's like kind of like Thursdays, it's kind of like, oh, we're celebrating, it's almost Friday, and then Friday, and then happens, and that's the whole weekend. Um, then it's, ich sitz auf dem so Sofa, rausch das ganz soig allein. Um, sitzen, uh, ich sitz, comes from sitzen, which means um, to sit. So, ich sitz, sitze auf dem Sofa. I sit on the sofa, rausch, 
uh, rauch das ganze Zeug allein. So rauch, I never heard that one before. Rauch, uh, rauch means like smoke or to, to smoke or, in, or to inhale. So as you mentioned earlier, um, basically it's basically you're sitting on the sofa smoking this big thing um, alone. Um, so it's like basically saying in the good old time Thursdays we would it was your your Thursdays were always open to do whatever and that was what it was and then um, now I'm just sitting on the sofa basically smoking by myself yeah um, zoig it's basically means like um, a thing or some junk or crap or something like that um, there's a also a um, there's a phrase that's called uh, that says "bludes zoig reden," which basically means um, to talk nonsense. Bludes zoig reden. Um, yeah, because zoig means like crap, junk, something stupid. So it's like, yeah, of course you're talking nonsense. You're talking crap or things that don't make sense. Um, well, that's something for you guys to just know. Um, and then there is the phrase that says next one that says "alle sind jetzt." Toy niemand get mehr raus. Alle sind jetzt Troy. It means everyone, everyone is now Troy, quote unquote. Nobody goes out anymore. Niemand get mehr raus. Raus means outside or just out. Um, and then get it comes from gehen, which means to go. Niemand get mehr raus. Um, and it's keine Kampf mehr bis zum Endboss. Kind of kempf, uh, kempf, I mean, it comes from kampfen, um, which I wrote that down. It basically means um, to fight, battle, or combat, or brawl. But in the figurative sense, it can also mean to struggle for or to fight for. So it's basically saying, keine kampf mehr bis zum end boss. Um, nobody's fighting to be the end until they're the end boss. You know, it's kind of like cor climbing the corporate ladder. It's like you wanted to climb the corporate ladder. Um, Nobody wants to do that anymore. Um, they get comfortable. Bis actually means um, until. So if you hear someone say bis next mal, bis später, um, bis next mal, it mean, bis uh, next mal, it means um, until next time. Bis später, which basically means see you later, until next time. Um, it's the same thing in a lot of other lang languages. It's like when you say like um, you say things like hasta luego. Um, in Spanish, hasta means until, so it's until soon or whenever I see you, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so it's common. And then, um, and then it says alle ge geben aus. Geben means to give. Um, so alle geben auf means everyone gives up. Everyone's given up. It's like everyone wants to fight to be the end boss, but then now everyone's given up. Um, then it says jeder geht jetzt jogen. Um, letter J is pronounced as Y, so don't go up to your German friends and be Jader get, uh, gate jets joggen. No, jeder gets jetzt joggen. It means everyone goes now jogging. Uh, redet, uh, redet über seinen Bauch. Redet, redet comes from reden, which means, um, to talk about or to talk over something. So they're talking about, they're talking over uba um it's not just a um it's not just a you know a car service um uba basically means over or above so if you're talking about something it's like everyone's talking about or talking over seinen bauch um, which means everyone's talking about their waist everyone's going jogging now everyone's talking about their waist um then it's before the lila Vogue kommen alle sind alle Lengths zu Hause. So it's saying before the Lila Vulcan came, um, comes. Kommen means to come or to arrive. Um, so if someone says hurry up, you can say Ich komme. I'm coming. It's fine. I'm I'm almost out the door. <laughs> ich komme. Um, sind alle lengths zu Hause. Um, everyone is go is long home. So like we're talking about lange Weile. Um, yeah. So it's like everyone's long at home. It's like before. Lila Vulcan. Um, I feel like this is kind of like another word for like cannabis. You know how like when people say things like, um, it's like, oh, here's the code word. It's like, here's the code word. So every time, you know, we're going to be talking about this particular drug, we're going to say Lila Vulcan. 
Um, we're going to say um, this so that people don't know what we're talking about. So I feel like that's kind of like the case with this. It's like before Lila Vokin could come out, everyone was long gone home. Zu Haus, um, Zu Hausa is what it means. It means home. So it's like if I'm saying like Ich gehe Zu Hausa, it means I'm going home. Ich gehe Zu Hausa. Um, yeah. And then it repeats to the hook, which we already went over. And so we're going to continue into the second verse. So the next verse is Jeder glücklich weiter. Keiner mehr verliert. I feel like this is kind of like sarcasm when I when I was seeing this. Because it's like Jeder glücklich weiter. Keiner mehr verliert. It's like, which means like everyone's happily too. It's like when I was talking about zwei means two. Zweiter is kind of like everyone's happily paired in twos. Like everyone's in a couple. Um, keiner mehr verliert. No one is a loser anymore. It's like yeah, I'm with somebody now. I'm no longer a loser. Um, then it's kind of, kind of get mir klauen freundlich zum kassierer, which means um, nobody goes anymore to steal or to pit. Klauen means like to steal or to pinch something. So there's actually a phrase I found out with that one. Um, an expression is, is called, um, it's like in jemandes klauen ger, uh, geraten. In jemandes Klauen geraten. It basically means to fall into someone's clutches. So klauen means like to claw at. Just think of it that way. Clawing at someone. You fell into their clutches. Or, you know, like you're stealing something. You're clawing at something. Klauen um, zum kassierer. No one's stealing anymore. Freundlich. Like if you're trying to say like a friend or someone that you know, um, in the familiar sense, you can say, das ist mein Freund. This is my friend. Um, also, Freund can also mean like boyfriend or girlfriend. It's very gender neutral. Um, so it's like you have to, so it's like, oh, this is my Freund. This is my Freund. Um, you know, you have to really, I think it depends on how you say it. Um, otherwise, it's like, oh, this is my Freund. Oh, this is dein Freund. Um, who's your friend? Um, Freundlich. Anytime you see Lich at the end of a word, it means that it's the same thing as when we do, when we put an ly on something. So freundlich is the same thing as friendly. Freundlich zum Kassierer, friendly to the cashier. So we're not stealing from them anymore. We're friendly with the cashier now. It's like yeah, we're so happily and happily married. I'm not a loser anymore, and I'm not stealing anymore. But I'm friendly with the cashier now. Um, alle sieht uh, alle sieht sehen aus. Land in die große Stadt nie wieder. Um, everyone's st everyone sees. Sehen, me, see, um, sehen basically means like to see or to look at. Ausland. It's like basically everyone wants to see Ausland. Like uh, the other Because land can mean. Land can mean like a city or a country. Um, actually, no, not a city. Stadt is a city. Um, so you might be able to say like, um, like land can mean like Deutschland, which is like a country. Um, land can also mean like the earth, you know, like the land, um, or it can mean like the countryside. And so it's basically saying everyone, um, everyone is seeing Ausland, like they're seeing outside the city, um, in the großen Stadt, nie wieder, in the big city. Remember we, I was talking about with the, um, uh, this particular beta looking symbol. I think there's a name for it. Um, but basically it means like in the big city, die große Stadt, and Stadt is a feminine noun, so it is die große Stadt, um, yeah, um, and then, um, nie wieder, nie, uh, wieder means again, nie means like, no, not no, so it's like, everyone's going outside the, outside to, to see the country, and no longer are in the big city, never again, so they're like, no, they're never in the big city ever again, they don't live there anymore. Um, then it says, Zelbenes Besteck, Goldeno Atriva, which basically means like silver cutlery, Goldeno golden Atriva, Golden Retriever. Um, so it's like they're not in the city, they're happily, in, happily paired, they're not losers, they're not stealing, um, they're friendly with the cashier, they're just trying to see outside of this big city, You, they live there now, they have silver cutlery, a golden retriever, and then it says alle mähen rasen, puts in ihre fenster, it means everyone's mowing grass, rasen is grass, um, mähen means mowing, 
okay <laughs> um a la man's rasen puts in means to clean um also if you've ever heard anyone say like oh my computer went kaputz kaputz actually means broken in german so just as a fun fact so anytime you hear someone say something went kaputz they're actually speaking in german <laughs> they're speaking a german word in there um putzen means to clean their window um and then it goes jeder ist jetzt zahnarzt jeder is yet everyone is now a zanats um this is actually a cognate that i actually had to unlearn false cognate so anytime you see a word that says arts arts does not mean art that's kunst um yeah kunst is is art uh, arts means a doctor zan means teeth so zanats means you are either a dental surgeon or a dentist zanats it's it's yeah so everyone's now a dentist keiner ist mehr gangster no one is a gangster anymore. Um, keiner fischt mir Stempel alle gehen schwimmen. Um, nobody is falsifying stamps anymore. Uh, fesch, uh, fashion means to forge or to fake something. It's, it's in the, so it's like if you wanted to say like something is false, you would say das ist falsch. Falsch. It's like false, but like there's an L in there. Falsch. Um, and then, um, yeah. Stempel is a stamp. Um, alle gehen schwimmen. Um, Self-explanatory. Everyone's going swimming. Um, Gehe steht jetzt auf der List. Stehen basically means to stand. Um, so it means everyone's standing now on the list. Niemand geht mir hin. So it means like everyone stays on the list, but nobody's going there anymore. So it's like, yeah, you're, on, you're still on the list. It's like, yeah, but I don't go in there anymore. What happens when you're an adult? Keiner will mehr ballern, treffen und zu reden. Kind of will comes from willen, which means to want or like to want something. So if you're like, if I'm going to say like, ich will, um, ich will schwimmen gehen. I want to go swimming. Also, in that sense, words are going to be flipped. So, um, I want to go swimming. <laughs> you know. Um, and then, nehmen geht mir hin means nobody goes here, goes there anymore. So it's like, yeah, you're on the list, you're standing on the list, but you don't go there anymore. Keiner will mir ballen. Um, yeah, keiner will mir ballen. Um, ballen means like to fling something at somebody, or that's the literal sense. Um, or to hammer something, or to shoot something. So it's just, no one wants to throw things anymore. Treffen means um, to meet or encounter somebody, um, but in the slang sense, it means like um, to hurt or upset somebody. I think that's what I wrote. Yeah, so it's basically slang. It's slang, which is known as übertragen. Um, übertragen. Um, yeah, übertragen. So slang, um, very much familiar terms. So it's saying nobody, um, yeah, nobody um, wants to fling stuff anymore or throw things you know anytime you're looking to throw something or something to get hurt or hit ballen <laughs> um treffen basically um no one wants to um treffen um zu reden means like to hurt or upset in speaking reden means to talk about or speak about so no one wants to no one wants to i think what it's really saying here is is that nobody really wants to make waves like no one wants to talk about someone behind their back because they're like oh my boss is gonna hear or no one wants to throw things anymore but i don't really think you should be throwing things anyway <laughs> um yeah and then uh keiner macht mehr mala alle fahren nach schweden keiner macht mehr mala. nobody makes or does um makes any more. mala means like malls so it's like nobody makes any malls anymore because nobody's shopping they're all you know they're all out in the suburbs um yeah keiner will mehr ballen treffen und zu reden keiner macht mehr mala alle fahren nach schweden um fahren what we talked about earlier means to drive or to travel nach um it means like to go to like to something so fahren nach schweden um, everyone's traveling to sweet to Sweden. Um, yeah. Then it, the next line says, "Jeder liebt die Bayern vom Essen beten." Um, liebt comes from lieben, which means to love. Um, so if you tell someone that you love them, you would say, "Ich liebe dich." 
but you would have to be careful with that because ishili badish basically means like i love you like let's spend the rest of our lives together type of thing so it's like if you're dating someone you don't want to right away be like ishili badish and think that you're saying i like them they're gonna be like um we've been dating for like a month or if they're like really like one of those super like let's get married today type of people then they'll be like oh my gosh um and then you have like ishli badish like if you said that to your friend it might come off as like is there something you're not telling me? <laughs> you know, is there something going on here that you're not telling me? Um, yeah. <laughs> so you want to be careful with that. Um, yeah, so you want to be careful with that. So form es beten, that comes from form den, form dem, which means before, for means before. So anytime you just put like for bef before anything, it means like in front of or before something. Before is actually a word. Um, um, Essen beten means to pray over the food. Beten means to pray. So it's, um, deep, uh, everyone loves the, Bavar loves, the Bayon is like Bavaria or Bavarian. Um, everyone loves the Bavarians, um, <laughs> you know, before they pray over dinner. Essen means to eat, but it also means like a meal, if that makes sense. Uh, beten means to pray or to say grace in the case of a meal. And then it repeats, uh, actually, no, 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 uh, oh, before I forget, there's another line that says, Leben die Kleinen, Traum, verbrennen die, gro die großen Pläne. Leben means to live. So to live the small dream, verbrennen means like to burn, scorch, or to set on fire. Verbrennen die großen Pläne. Uh, by the way, that does not mean to burn the plane because plena actually means plan. So it means to live the small dream, to burn and scorch the big dreams. So it's basically saying like, you know, everyone wants to live this small dream of we go to school, we don't, you know, we party, we do the whatever. And then after that, we become adults and we get jobs and then we have kids, we get married and have kids. And then we do that. We don't do fun things anymore. <laughs> and we basically just let go of all of our, um, of all of our big dreams and then from there it will um yeah so it's to live the big the the small dream scorching or to burn or to set on fire the big plans um and then it goes into the hook again and then basically we're going to end with the bridge so basically th that's Pretty short. It's Randala und Koval, die Seiten sind längst vorbei. Randala und Koval, Randala actually means like riots. So bunches of bunches of people around. Und Koval, Koval is like noise. Um, you know, when you go to a party, there's a bunch of people. I wouldn't say like riots, but it's just crowds of people. And there's a bunch of noise. Die Seiten, Seiten, uh, Seiten is plural, so die Seiten sind lengths for by are slowly passed by for by um for by i would probably not get this confused with passieren because passieren means like to fit which is kind of weird so it's like if you're gonna if your friend um comes out of a dressing room and she says das pass passiert mir gut she's not saying does this pass me well she's saying does this fit me well for by is what you want to say like if you like let's say someone's in your way and you're like kann ich vorbei you're like, can I go by? Like, can I go by, please? <laughs> Get out of my way. Um, that's a that's I guess that's a polite way to say it. Um, then it says, Wo sind meine Leute hin, die fahren früher überall? Wo means where. I always get this confused with wer because wer means who, and wo means where. No, yeah, yeah, wer means who, and then wo means where. You would think that, for me, and with my American brain, I'm like, wer, like, wer ist, and it means no, who is, and I'm like, oh, so I, wo ist is what I'm saying, where is. I mean, it's confusing, um, but yeah, so wo sind meine Leute hin, it means where are my people there, or here. Yeah, where are my people there? Die waren für überall. Divan means like goods or products. Um, für, über, für actually means like earlier or sooner, and then überall, as we talked about overall. So it means like 
all these used to be everywhere. Like, we used to have, like, riots, like, bunches of people, noise, um, and, you know, people, we had stuff everywhere, like, there was dr drugs and alcohol and things like that, typical parties and things like that. Um, and then it says, was, was all die anderen Staaten seid wie nie Landung aus. It means, um, was, was means what? Um, was are die anderen Staaten? Staaten means exactly what it means. Um, Sight means to see. It comes from sehen, to see. Um, so it means like what all these, all the others start to see. Or what, what I see is like all these other people who, um, V means like, um, it means um, how or like. So if you're saying like V Gates, like how are you? Typically that's going to be, um, typically V Gates means like, how are you going? How? Uh, then there is, um, and then there is, um, what do you call it? Um, and it's like V ein Loch, what was you talked about? Zelf and V ein Loch. Um, yeah, so that basically means like, if you're making a comparison. So V as in how, also as like, like such and such, um, if that makes sense. So you have that. Um, and then, um, so it's basically saying that like when all, like when everyone starts, everyone starts to look like a landing, Landung, uh, aus. Um, und die Welt sieht recht sich weiter nur nicht mehr ganz so laut. And the world, yeah, in the world, like, drehen comes from, um, from drehen, yeah, dre, dreht comes from drehen, which means, like, to turn or to twist, rotate, revolve around, and record, or uh, record. So, it basically means, like, end the world, end die Welt, uh, und die Welt, um, sie dreht sich weiter, so the world starts to turn and rotate again. Um, nur means, like, only. And nish means not, so it's like only it, like only, um, not only more loud. Like mehr ganz so loud. Ganz means like a lot, so it's like really loud. Like ganz ganz so loud, like very much so loud. So it's like um, everyone's starting to look like a landing. And I think what's happening because in the music video, there's a part where he just starts to jump into the group of people. So it's like everyone looks like a landing, so I can stand on the sofa and jump <laughs> to them. Which does not sound very safe. Um, and the world's starting to turn itself, and not only it is becoming more loud, if that makes sense. So you have that. Um, and then after that goes ping, 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 Alejandro. So that's the entire song. And despite some of the, I mean, as a person who has, uh, yeah, as a person who has lived in uh, Los Angeles for the past five years, um, all of these cannabis references don't really phase me. I mean, I don't personally choose to do that, but I'm just going to say right now, it's just something that's being around it and walking down the street and whatnot. It's a normal thing to, to see people. I mean, in LA, you can throw a stone and hit somebody who smokes. So outside of the cannabis references, what I think what Materia is saying here in the song is that it's kind of like, um, if you've ever heard of, um, Kafka, um, Franz Kafka. Um, I read some. Of, I, th I read his piece *Metamorphosis* when I was in high school, and he writes a lot about existentialism. So when you think about bureaucracy, it's like nobody is partying anymore. Nobody's having a good time anymore. Everyone's nobody's living it up in the city anymore. They're oh, like you know, it, it gets to the point where when you get older, there's certain expectations. It's like when he talks about um, this one. yeah, in the second verse when it says. Um, Jeder glücklich weiter, keiner mehr verliere. Um, no one is like, yeah, like, I'm together, everyone's happily together, no one's a loser, as if being single makes you a loser, um, when it really doesn't. You know, I think it's like when you get older, there's a certain expectation, um, especially when it says here, um, I'm going to get rid of this one, because it's kind of in the way. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a part where it says, jeder, uh, not, yeah, jeder... Is yet zan arts. It's like everyone's a dentist now. Um, if you love being a dentist, if you are a dentist and you love being a dentist, you know, that's great. That's not a problem. I think what it's saying here is, is that everyone's kind of conforming to a certain bureaucracy where it's like 
we're being manufactured to do certain things. Like, um, even when it talks about kind of come from bis zoom em boss. It's like everyone wants to be, you know, we, when we're young, we like, we want to work our way to the top. We're good. And eventually we start giving up. Alla geben auf. Um, you know, you see people who, you know, like, you know, I'm in a job right now and I'm so bored. I'd rather be doing this. But everyone else is so invested in their adult life. Um, and I think that um, the message here is, like I said, outside of the cannabis references and the drinking and partying, um, is just that we have... There's a tendency where there are people who go through this whole factory lifestyle thing, you know, where we're just existing, we're not living. Um, we're living for the weekends and then we're working our mundane jobs every day. Um, and it just kind of is like a song that kind of makes you think like, maybe I should loosen up a little bit more. Um, you know, we're finding jobs that are practical. It's like with kids, which is the name of the song, kids. It's like we grow up and we're like, yeah, we can be whatever we want, you know, do whatever. Um, world is my oyster oyster and you know I want to be Superman when I grow up and then eventually you get your parents they're like okay well that's great you're creative you like to draw but um, that's not gonna pay any bills and it kind of makes me think when did life become about paying bills and being a person that stays out of the out of the way or you know as it says here um, kind of in a balance nobody wants to make waves they don't want to make a big fuss when you even look about you know with uh, about it in a Black Lives Matter standpoint. You know, there are people who think, you know, like for me in this case, it's like, you know, I'm gonna speak up. I don't care who says what or who does what to me. And then you have people who are like, oh yeah, but you know, yeah, that's unfortunate that happened to George Floyd. So I, but you know, I don't wanna protest. I don't wanna make waves with, you know, people in society. I have a job, I have a kids, whatever. You know, no one wants to do that anymore. Um, particularly I know in my generation, um, since I am in my um, mid to, uh, yeah, yeah, my early to mid 20s is that, you know, I mean, I guess I'm young, so I can say this, but it's like, yeah, we're kind of like at that point where we're at a high point, we're young, you know, we just got out of college, you know, the world is at our fingertips, create our own opportunities. But then when we look at a lot of older generations, it's gotten to the point where it's a factory, you go to school, you know, you pick one thing you have to do for the rest of your life. And then you go to college, you come out of college, you do that job for 40 years, you get married, you have kids, you retire and then it's a cycle and that's not living that's existing so I think what he's trying to say here is we need to loosen up we need to learn to adult play like and what I mean by that is like we need to learn how to like have fun every once in a while um, to be kids you know and um, I think that's absolutely a really good message I mean even for me as a person who's young I don't really see myself doing the whole 40 year work till I'm dead type of thing um, just because I feel like I want to impact people and I want to do um, different things. Um, so, yeah, um, that's kind of how I feel about that um, in that sense. So I agree with what he's the message that he's trying to say. So if any of you guys, if you can get past the cannabis references, um, <laughs> yeah, this, the weed smoking references, what he's really trying to say is, is that don't live your life trying to basically be like everyone else. Um, Marriage. I mean, I'm very much very particular. Um, I ha I think I I have a um, vulnerability, vulnerability, um, vulnerability. Uh, talk about that. Um, that I mentioned, but I just think that it's really important to learn how to play and be. So it's okay to release your inner kid every once in a while. Um, at my age, I still watch. Um, I still like every once in a while I go on YouTube and I love watching like cartoons. Um, you know, like back in the day, like I never thought I'd ever say that in my life. Um, but yeah, like, you know, like I used to love watching like, like for nostalgic, re nostalgic purposes. I love watching like Dexter's Lab and like Powerpuff Girls because I grew up on this stuff. So it's like, it's okay as an adult to have fun. Be a kid. You are, it's okay to be young at heart. So I hope this is helpful and you... I hope you learned some German. I hope you learned some new phrases. And um, yeah, so make sure I, I'm just doing what I can just to make sure that I am helping you guys become more connected to the world and the people that are in it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next month with this series. I love Joe. It's your